Beautiful thumbnails can draw your audience attention to your football videos whenever you put them on YouTube. It can help you to get a lot of views right on your videos. In this video, I will be showing you how you can create your sports thumbnails or you design your football thumbnails right here on this channel. All you have to do is to click that like button there for me and let's quickly get into it. To design your thumbnail, you need Canva. So as you can see, I am in canva.com over here. You just go to canva.com or after you finish watching this video, check the link in description and you arrive on this particular dashboard here. Now, as you arrive here, what you need to do is to come over here and log in with your account. That is log in with your Google account. And then what we need to do is to come here and click on create a design. So you can see YouTube thumbnail right here. So you click YouTube thumbnail. And then Canva is going to open that interface for you to start designing your thumbnail. So we are creating this thumbnail from scratch. So I don't want to use any template. So as it comes like this, what we need to do is to go ahead and search for the items that we are going to use to design our thumbnail. So first you must know the video that you are creating or the video thumbnail that you are creating. So in this case, I am creating a thumbnail on these two teams over here. So I'll be copying them one by one and then I'm going to search for the pictures that are related to these teams over here so that I can use it to design the thumbnail. Maybe you're also creating a thumbnail for anything, maybe Manchester United versus Manchester City. You can also go ahead and search the same thing as I'm about to do. So right now, let me just copy the first team over here and then I'll go to my browser and then I'm going to search this on Google. So let's search this and see. So as you search the team, this particular team is where Ronaldo is playing. So you just come over here and click images. I just need images of the team, right? So you just come over here and then you search images. You can see there are different images over here. So he's showing their main star, that is a superstar over here, that is Ronaldo. So I just need one picture of him and then I'll be using the team picture also. So for example, just click on this picture. And then the next thing we got to do is to download it. So what you need to do is just to click right and download it. You can do the same thing using your mobile phone. So let's just save this image. So let me download this one. All right, it's downloaded. The next thing I need is the team logo. So you can see it over here. So you can just download the logo too. All these things are very important. Go to Google, search for any team at all, their logo and everything, and then you download it. So let me save this one too. Right, so the next thing we got to do is let me go and copy the second team that I want to include in the thumbnail. So this is the team. And then I'll come back to Google again and then I'm going to search for that particular team also. So let's go to images again as we have done for the first one. So you can see the team has a lot of images and is displaying their superstar also which is Nema over here. So in this case, I don't want to use the player again. I just want to use one player. You can also use many players as you want, okay? Or you can even use the stadium as you want. So I just need the logo over here. So let me click on this one. In case you don't see it, you can still search it over here. So I just want to download this logo over here. So let me save it. All right, so I've done that and now we have all the items that we need. So let's go ahead and create our thumbnail now. So back to Canva. So this is our dashboard here where we are trying to create our thumbnail. So what we are going to do is to first make sure that we upload the images right here on Canva. So the images are being downloaded here. You can see the images are here. So what I'll be doing is I'll be moving them one by one to my Canva here. So you just drag and drop it to upload automatically. 
so you can see this one has been uploaded here let me go and then i will drag and drop the second one here and then it's uploading again you can see and then let me repeat the same process by dragging and drop the third one here that is ronaldo all right so everything i need to create my thumbnail is right here for me as you are seeing now so the next thing i have to do is to make sure i move these items on this board over here then i write some things on them then that is all so let's do that so first let me just select the player over here and it's gonna come over here and what i need to do is to make sure i drag the side to the extent that i want it or to the size that i want it so you can just drag it and you can just make sure you position it very well it depends on how you like it right make sure that the parts are not missing the important parts like the hand and other parts so as i position it like this the next thing i got to do i want to change this background over here i want the color of the background to change you can see that i didn't put the player on the whole background so let me just click the background and then you go to the color at the top here and then it will display the colors that are in this particular image for you so that you can use any one of them or in case you don't want them to you can come down and select any default color over here so in this case i just want to use black so let me select black so you can see the background has changed to become black right so the next thing i have to do is to make sure i go for any shape so let me just come over here and search for any shape so to search for shape go back to element you can see element here just click element and then you're gonna see shapes over here automatically but in case you don't see shapes over here make sure you come to the top here and then you search for shape so you can search it in case you don't see it there so you can see the shapes are here i just need a shape to add there so you just click on shape and then i need this shape over here which is a square or triangle anyone so let me click this one and then it will appear like this for you and i'll drag and put it at this side because i'll be writing on it you can drag the size more small all right it is fine now i want to change the color of this shape so that it will look just like this color over here or you can just leave it in case you want but in this case i want to change the color so to change the color just click on the shape and come to the top here and then you're gonna see colors here so you just select any color at all now you can see that the shape has been changed to become black so now let's go ahead and add the logo and the goals being scored so let's go ahead and do that let's go back to our upload you can see uploads here and then the first logo we want to add is the first team over here i think al nasser i don't know how to pronounce that team very well go to the comment section and teach me how to pronounce this team so i'll just drag and drop it right here very nicely and you can minimize this more the way you like so you're gonna come to the middle over here and then you'll be writing the goals scored remember the goals scored is 4-3 so this is 4-3 right so let's go and then we're gonna put this 4-3 right here on canvas so i'm gonna put it here by going to text so you can see text here make sure you click on text and then you come over here add a heading and then it will come here like this make sure you you write your text there in this case i just copied this so i'm pasting it there but you can write it it's just a number you can still clean this and write for example four three you can see i've written it so let's make sure that we change the color before we put it over here because it will be dark you can see so let's change the color to become white so to change the color make sure you click on it and then you go to color text color here so you click here and then i want to change the color to become white 
but when i do this everything is going to be changed so what i need to do is to first highlight it so you must highlight like this so after you've highlighted then make sure you change the color now so the color is being changed so let's see you can see the color has been changed so now make sure you drag and put it here very nicely you can go ahead and change the font in case you like but i just like this normal font right so you can make sure you put it here to become big very well any way you like it all right so the next thing is let's go back to our uploads again and pick the second logo so this is the second logo here so let's make sure we bring this logo also in so let's go ahead and position it very nicely so you can just make sure you minimize this small because the second one is very long just customize it the way you like right so i will make sure i position this very well so that all this will go up like this all right so it is very nice now so the next thing i want to do is to just write something over here like highlights you can write anything at all that you want so let's go to text again and click on text and then you come over here add a heading remember and then i'm gonna write something like highlights over here just to indicate that this is football highlight so let's repeat the same process by changing the color over here then we'll make sure that we click test color at the top here and then we're gonna highlight this first remember and then you come over here and select the color you can select any color at all that you like there are lots of colors here so i just need white so let me just select the white and then you can just go ahead and select any font so i'll click on the font here you can see canvas sans over here this is the automatic font or the default font but i want to change it to any other font let's search for this particular font It's a very nice font here this is the font here i think montserrat is a good font so let me just select this one over here montserrat classic so you can see it has changed now so what you need to do is let's position it here by dragging and dropping it here and then let's make sure we position the size very well for it to look very nice so you can just go ahead and customize your thumbnail the way you like right do it the way you like you can do it better than me right so just make sure you position everything very nicely so after you have done with your terminal what you need to do is to go ahead and then you come over here to share then you click on it you're gonna see download over here so you click download and then you click download again so your terminal will be downloaded and you can place it on your video on youtube so this is a way of creating your thumbnail very nicely using canva you can do it better than me you can do different different ones in case you like my video just go to the like section over there and hit the like button for me and also i want you to comment in the comment section and also please make sure you subscribe to this channel and continue sharing our videos all right see you in the next video